everybody, welcome to Brickboard, my name is Mike and today we have the review for the Ice Tank. That's the set number 70616 for the Lego Ninja Go movie. We have built this guy during a live stream so you can check out the recording below. I'm gonna leave some links. But for today, let's get into the review after this short time lapse. And here is the ice tank completed. During the stream I called it the tank ice machine or the ice cream truck or just an ice cube machine on uh, huge tracks. Well, looks really cool, a very unique looking vehicle. The shaping and colors are excellent. It kind of reminds me of the big bug that was seen in the Starship Troopers movies, the one that was shooting artillery blasts towards the orbit to the spaceships. I think it kind of resembles this shape with this pointy back and the cockpit in the front with those huge tracks and overall it looks very good. Here in the front we have the main ice cannon that's a asymmetric build so as you can see if you move it towards the side the cannon is very solidly placed on the right side of the tank that doesn't really tilt or shift uh, in position right here so it's very solid connection. Kind of a bummer because I thought it would be moving at least up and down but it doesn't and the function to shoot those projectiles is right in the back, it's very easy to access, so you can shoot all six in a very rapid fashion. I really like the build for the cockpit, especially the stickers here, because those are two stickers aligned perfectly across the line of this uh, canted piece, and they create this very nice pattern of squares, red and gray, that matches up actually the squares at the back of the tank, and that makes up for a very distinctive look overall. The cockpit is similar to the one you have seen in the U-Wing from Star Wars because it does have a bottom canopy that you can still open to have Zane see everything that's below the tank, that's pretty cool. And the top part also opens up so you can fit in the minifig. There is plenty of space inside and some excellent stickers. The interior of the cockpit is of a very interesting design, not only we have those levers for controlling the tank, there is also a piece that's preventing the minifig from going below the controls, that's this style here and it allows you to put Zane in somewhat of a lying position so he can lie back easily then you can close it off and uh, well add the controls to his hands so we close him off and he can actually fit with his quiver on so i think that's quite a good design you have to be careful though so this piece doesn't go too below and he doesn't fall to the bottom the vehicle is of course tracked, that's a full-grown tank and the tracks looks excellent a lot of those uh, technique uh, track pieces, I think 31 for each side, there is a nice design for the back wheel that's making this thing move, but the whole movement thing actually has some other function, as you can see there is a special tank in the back that is having some ice cube pieces, some ice rattling just there, you can see them here probably, and they, while well, they rattle and the whole mixer thing, that's what it's called the ice con uh, maker by us, because it was resembling the ice con so much, because as you move the vehicle, this wheel here is engaging some cogs inside and the whole thing in the bag is mixing ice constantly. So there you go, the Zane's ice truck, ice cube machine, whatever you call it. It actually has a working function at this whole container consisting of some very good use 
of transparent blue canopy pieces, the big ones, we have four of them, makes up for an excellent uh, looking uh, thing that does actually work. So yeah, it goes on and rattles pretty much like that. The tracks do work very well, even though we have a rubber wheel in the back. The tracks have a lot of grip with the surface, so even of such a flat surface as I have here, they connect pretty well and the tension is just enough to make this thing move as you want it to. Even though I had some small concerns for the looks of the Jay's vehicle, the Lightning Jet, the tank for Zane looks great from all sides. We don't have uh, any big Technic pieces sticking out here, so even if you look at the back of the vehicle, there is some Technic bar of course, but the wheels are covered by some armor pieces, the back wheels of course, and there is nothing really being out of place here, the whole tank looks excellent, and especially those massive wedges that create this massive shape. Well, overall, great looking guy, very unique and goes on par with a lot of other uh, ninjas vehicles for this wave. The set comes with five minifigs with an excellent villain version for the angler guy, but let's start off with uh, taking a look at Zane. And quite disappointingly, this is the same Zane that we have in all the other Ninja Go movie sets. This time around, LEGO is not diversifying those guys between sets, so he has the exact same face expressions, exact same print, and also exact same bow and quiver that we have in other sets. Quite a disappointment, still a cool minifig, but I think they should provide some variety for those guys. And here is the guy I was talking about, that's the angler, great uh, helmet for the angler fish, that's this uh, very monstrous fish that lives in deep waters, looks uh, like a crazy monster with this luminous thing on its forehead to lure in a lot of prey that she eats, and this guy has an excellent helmet for that, one of the best ones, if not the best, for all the shark army guys uh, in this wave. Uh, the print for it also is not unique, so you've seen this one in a number of sets, plus the scuba tank that he has also is a common piece for a Ninja Go movie sets. He comes with a swordfish, I think. That's a fish with a blade uh, attached to it. We also get the shark army thug, the guy that is probably the most common representation of uh, the bad guy in all those Ninja Go movie sets. Same print for his face with the eye patch that we see a number of other sets, plus his thug cap and the same print for the torso. And as a weapon, you have a smaller version of the swordfish. The first of two civilians is Patty Keys. She comes with uh, only one single face expression, that's the scared one, this mold for oriental style hair. Uh, that is very good, this time in black form, and her outfit represents some kind of a robe, and you can see some stains on it. Probably she's after or right during the fight, that Zayn is helping with with his ice tank. And the last minifig for this set is Torben. He has a very simple print for his torso, but I think it's unique for this set. That's uh, the Ninja Go City outfit, a classic robe that we're gonna be probably seeing in the movie a lot. Uh, he comes also with one face expression, the scared one, very good one with all this facial hair on it, and a new uh, piece for his headwear that is a special style of hat. Quite a cool minifig, and I think also exclusive to this set. I think this set is excellent, even though it's not the cheapest one, the price to piece ratio is not the best, um, slightly worse than what we used to have in previous uh, Ninja Go movie sets, for example the Fire Mech for Kai is a much better uh, price value I have to say, but if you want to get a very unique looking vehicle, something we have never seen in LEGO form in such shape and form, for a while now I think that is a good set to get, very unique, cool functions, cool looks, I think it has it all to become a very good Ninja Go movie vehicle. Well, I think that's a good pickup. And that is it for the Ice Tank review. Quite a cool looking set, if you know what I mean. Uh, a lot of uh, nice minifigs, great looking vehicle, I love it a lot. If you enjoyed this review, please leave a like and subscribe, we really appreciate your support. My name is Mike, and I'll see you again on BrickVault.